Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will speak about 5 philodendron plants that are best for beginners. So if you are a beginner and you are really interested to keep philodendrons at your home but you don't know where to begin, probably this is the best video to guide you through. So the first one on my list is uh, the philodendron Brazil. This is one of the most common trailing kinds of philodendrons and this is also one of the very first philodendrons that I got for myself. It's very easily available in uh, any nursery. However, if you are unable to go out at this moment, you can purchase it online. Even I got it online but uh, when I received this plant, it almost died in transit. So I just propagated it from two leaves and now see how beautifully it has grown. So because this is a variegated plant, it does well in bright light conditions. You can water it twice or thrice weekly. And make sure you use a very well draining potting mix with lots of sand or perlite to prevent it from getting root rot. The next one on my list is another trailing philodendron. This is the philodendron micans. I love this plant for its deep brown colored velvety leaves. This is also another plant which is very easy to grow and this is very readily available in the market nowadays. I also started growing this plant from a cutting and this is just a year's growth. It loves bright sunlight. Use a well draining potting mix and I think fertilizing it maybe twice a month or maybe uh, once a week should be sufficient for this plant. So this is just the ideal plan for beginners because this does not have a lot of demands and it can grow on its own pretty much and it will help you boost your confidence regarding philodendrons. Now this is philodendron zanadu. This is not a trailing plant and it can grow upright so if you have a lot of space in your home and you just want to um, put a statement piece maybe or if you are gardening outside in your garden this is a wonderful plant to grow now uh, i know it looks a bit crooked here that's because uh, after i got it from uh, the nursery it lost a lot of leaves and initially it was a little difficult for me to find out uh, what exactly it wants the kind of lighting conditions it prefers so uh, i would suggest that if you have grown a couple of philodendrons uh, you attempt this one after that because uh, this one is a bit finicky regarding the lighting conditions and the water so you cannot overwater it uh, underwatering uh, it can tolerate a little bit of that but overwatering is not really recommended and it loves a bright spot so this is a plant that can be grown indoors as well as outdoors However, uh, it, you will have to provide it a little bit of time to acclimatize to your home. This is a philodendron that I absolutely adore. It is the philodendron lemon and lime. This plant is another trailing plant. It grows just like pothos. So although it won't hang downwards, I think it can trail upwards. So if you put a moth stick, it can grow upwards just like uh, pothos or money plants so as i said this is one of my most favorite philodendrons because this is so easy to grow it can grow in a number of conditions you can put it in uh, bright light conditions or maybe in a slightly darker corner of your room or house so if your house does not receive a lot of sunlight this will still grow and it grows so fast and I love the lemon lime color of the leaves it looks almost very similar to neon pothos because of their neon yellowish green color and the new leaves are so smooth and soft to touch so I absolutely love this plant last but not the least this is my philodendron erubescence it also goes by other names like the philodendron red emerald or the philodendron red leaf. That is because uh, this plant has red colored highlights behind its leaves and the stems also have a deep dark maroonish red color which is really beautiful. It has long narrow green leaves and this plant is an aggressive climber 
currently it's growing on a moss pole but i'll have to change the moss pole very soon so this is a wonderful plant for those people who do not receive a lot of light in their home i also keep it in a fairly shaded place and uh, you have to uh, be a little careful about watering this make sure that the potting soil is very well draining and the water drains out make sure you throw it out immediately because this plant is quite prone to root rot thank you so much for watching this video guys if you liked it please consider subscribing to my channel and leave a comment that's all for now see you guys in the next video bye